Hey, what's going on, everybody? Aaron Wilson again, jumping on YouTube and talk about NFL all day and all day marketplace. We got a drop coming up tomorrow that I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of information about, and I'm going to check out the marketplace as well. So let's get let's get going. Let's see what we see. All right. So first thing you'll see when you go to the NFL all day website and you click on packs, you will see next drop coming soon. Check out your email or join the private Discord to find out when the next pack drop is. I don't know why they're trying to go incognito with what's going on with the pack drop. Um, I guess it's maybe just a push to make sure you guys are set up as an email and also on their Discord channel as well would be my assumption. Um, but since I am on both, um, we are good to go and I'm all set up on that and I knew this drop was coming. So if you go ahead and check out their blog, you can have access to what's going on with this new drop. All right, so the drop is gonna be week 13 replay. I mean, this is the second time that they dropped it. And this is gonna be dropping tomorrow. Um, there's gonna be two specific drops for this specific pack. There's gonna be a standard pack drop, which is gonna be at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Waiting room opens up at one o'clock. There's gonna be 43,000 plus packs available at $49 per pack. And you're gonna get three moments. These are gonna all be moments from week 13. You do have a chance to include one rare or legendary moment. They're not giving us the percentages on this specific drop. It would be nice to see those. I assume it's pretty low for the standard drop. Um, and then you also have a premium pack. Premium pack is gonna be 249 again, just like they just did to us last week. There's only gonna be 76, 65 packs available. You're gonna get four moments per pack, which is not the same as last time where they were giving us nine moments per pack and you're gonna but you are gonna guarantee one rare one legendary moment so it's pretty 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 expensive what they're trying to do here with the 249 pack but we'll take a look at it to see if it's potentially worth it so uh one of the thing uh one of the other things i thought was interesting is they're gonna say uh for this friday's drop there's a chance that they're maxing uh the number of packs that you can get to two and this is for the people that were this is for everybody, but specifically for the people that have already been um, in the previous drop when, drop when it was in closed beta. So um, if you can get around the bend for a second time, um, I doubt that's gonna be able to happen. But if you, for some reason, get really early and there's not as many people as there were on the last drop, I think there were about 60 to 70,000 on the last drop, I guess there's a potential for you to get to, but I don't think that's gonna be happening. But I thought that was interesting. So one of the big things that you wanna know is what's gonna be actually in this pack. So what we can do here is they don't give you a link to what's gonna be in the pack, which is a little annoying. So I had to do a little bit of digging on the Discord and I found a link on the Discord by just doing a quick search. So I went to the Discord um, and I just went in the top right hand corner and I searched for week 13 and I was able to find the Google Doc that gives you access to what's gonna be in the pack, which is great. So here's a link here. I'll drop a link below as well for you guys to see so you don't have to do that digging on the Discord. Um, but one of the things that I just figured out and I might be late to the game, but I believe every single one of these moments is going to be a NFL debut. So I did a quick search for about 15 to 20. I didn't do all of them and every single one is a debut. So let me show you how I did that real quick. So, all right. So the big name that jumps out is going to be Justin Herbert. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to read the description back to back sack can almost single handedly put a stop to a drive. So I'm going to look at that. It says in the trenches rare which would be a heck of a find. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that idea and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna come over to the marketplace. So if I come over to the marketplace, I'm gonna type in, on the left-hand side, I'm gonna type, uh, type in Herbert underneath player name. That's in Herbert, all right. So you'll see for Herbert, um, now that we know from these new badges that they're gonna be given, that you'll see that this is going to be a rare. And if I click on this Justin Herbert, I'm going to see that same description. No, oh, maybe I'm not. Let's see. Let's go back to the pad. Justin Herbert. Uh, yep. Justin Herbert rolled to the right on, a, on the play action. So it was right. My memory sucks. Sorry about that. Um, so Justin Herbert rolled to the right. So we know, even though it doesn't say that this is his NFL 
all day debut. This is gonna be his debut. Now the good news about this is those debut prices are gonna be a lot more expensive and have a nice ability for you to sell them if you want to on the marketplace. So right here, the lowest is going for about 1100. Let's look at previous sales. Well, it looks like there's 850, 699, 899, you know, so you're right around a thousand dollars, maybe a little bit more with this marketplace, um, up to 1100 potential for that. So that's going to be one of the big, big winners there. So if you go back to the spreadsheet, you can do the same thing across, across the board. Um, and every single one is going to be the debut. So the next thing we want to do is we want to look to see what the prices of the debuts are going for regardless of the moment. So if we go back to the marketplace, I'm gonna to go to the main marketplace and I'm gonna use this navigation on the left-hand side and I'm gonna to go to badges. I'm gonna click on a badge. I'm gonna to go to all day debut. All right, you got Patty Mahomes for $1,700. Um, but what I wanna do here is check out low to high to see what the low end would be. So if I click on new listings and I go to price low to high, all right, the cheapest one is gonna be for $6, which is pretty much the floor that we've seen for all moments. So yeah, $6. So if you think about it this way, let's say you get a pack and you're able to get um, your moments. And again, if you go back to the drop information, and scroll down you'll see that you're going to get three moments per pack so if you're in and you only get three let's say you get three of the worst ones but they're all debuts you're still looking at 18 dollars now i know you're spending what, 49 for 59 this time 49 so you spend 50 bucks a pop you get all right, so I guess, I guess that isn't that great of a great of a guarantee in there. But I, did, I still thought that was kind of interesting. You're looking at 18 bucks, you know, 50 buck, 50 buck pack. All right, you got a little bit, a little bit of a price issue there. Um, but I guess that's the worst case scenario. So the hope is not the worst case scenario. The hope is you're going to get um, one of these top top notch plays. So you're looking for the Herbert. You're looking for a rare. Potential again, you have potential to get a rare um, or maybe even a legendary. You're looking for again Herbert. See the other big names that are up, up here. And we'll take a look at those in a minute. So you got I'm gonna avoid George Kittle as a legendary. Let's look at that real quick. Just go back to the marketplace. We're gonna go to Kittle. And there's your legendary. It's listed for $85,000. And there are no purchases right now of this. So it's really tough for us to know exactly how much this would go for. Um, but you would think in the thousands of dollars for a player of his stature and also this being a legendary. All right, let's check out one more. So let's go into, let's go to um, Tyler Murray. So Tyler Murray, Murray is gonna be a rare as well. Sorry, Kyler Murray is gonna be a rare as well. So let's check that out. Get rid of Kittle. Now let's go to Murray. Right. It's going to be his debut. $450. All right, that's a nice little return on your investment if you wanted to flip it. Uh, from there, 450 is the price right now. Let's see what they've sold for in the past. Okay, 450, 475, 650, 720, 629. So you know you're talking about 400 to 500 dollars. So that's kind of the goal. So that's what's going on with the pack drop. So again, you want to get more information about the pack drop, go to the blog or go to the discord and you go to get a chance to see what's going on, what the highlights are for the specific pack um, and all the specifics that I, I told you about. Again, this is going to be dropping tomorrow, Friday, February 25th at 2 p.m. for the standard pack drop and at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the premium pack drop. I'll probably end up getting at least the standard pack drop, I don't think I'm going to do the premium this time. It's worth a shot to, to get going with the standard pack. So in addition to that, I just want to give you a like, quick update on some of the numbers that we have going on in the marketplace. So we got a chance to look at some of the numbers there. Um, but again, we talked a little, little bit about the baseline. Let's look, check out that baseline again. So I'm going to get rid of on this left hand side, make sure there's no badges going on. 
and I'm gonna go to new listings. I'm gonna go to low to high. Just wanna see where the bottom number is. So right now it's at five bucks. A couple of five, six, scrolling up. Yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much what your floor is, floor is gonna be, five or six dollars. Keep on scrolling through here until we get, you know, a solid, a solid player. You know, and Dominican Sue for six bucks. Monte Parker for seven bucks. Jared Cook for seven dollars. All right, so you're talking about five, six, seven dollars is the floor right now. We'll go up, we'll go down. I assume it will go down a little bit um, with this drop that's about to happen. The fact that they're going to be doing drops, I think, every single week during the off season. But again, this is a wait and see game. The biggest thing for you to do is to not get crazy and buy a whole bunch of stuff, but to really see where the, where the market um, is really going. I'm, and I'm also really interested to see what the NFL is going to do. Um, Chad Ojo Cinco came out with a video for NFL all day on their Twitter on their Twitter feed and said there's no off season and there's no off season for all day for the NFL. So I'm interested to see what that really means. Um, what are they really going to do? I assume they're going to continue to drop, you know, each of the weeks, you know, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then they're going to drop some of the playoff stuff again would be my assumption. But um, I don't know. But they have to do something else around that and the marketplace. You know, you think about Top Shot and the fact that it's really interesting to do Top Shot because you have all these flash challenges. But is there anything creative that the NFL can come together to get more even even more excitement about what's going on with NFL all day? I hope that's the case, but we will see in the next couple of weeks. Um, thanks so much for taking the time to check out the video. I truly appreciate it. If you thought it was interesting, you found it informational, I really appreciate um, a subscribe from you guys and also like, like it as well. If you have any, comments on stuff that I can do better on stuff that you would like to hear about please throw throw it in the comment section below I'd love to have, have a talk with you um, I also want to remind everybody to follow me on Twitter Aaron Wilson 22 if you have any questions uh, reach out to me on Twitter and I will see you next time see you